All right, so I want to talk about what happens when you overeat. Now, this probably has never happened to you, but you may know people who do overeat occasionally. Now, there's two situations. You have uh, people that are doing intermittent fasting and keto, and they're overeating because they're basically not going to eat for 18 hours, and they're like freaking out like, oh my gosh, I'm going to starve, so I have to eat so much to last that long. If that's your situation, then what you need to do is you need to just keep a log and write down how you feel after you stuff yourself. So the next time that you do this, you'll realize, wow, that was very painful. I better eat a little bit less. And then what happens is get used to that. So you have the confidence to go longer and longer and longer and fast. And you'll realize that you're not going to starve to death. And then you have people that are not on the keto plan and not doing intermittent fasting. And they're definitely in a trap because what happens is that they might go to a restaurant, for example, and they bring out the bread. They consume the bread even before you even start you know, eating your main meal. Then you have the hors d'oeuvre. They bring you the alcohol. And then you have the main course, right? Which always comes with a starch and a protein and a side salad. By that time, you're completely stuffed. Your tube, your digestive tract is completely packed down, but they're not done. They bring you another document. It's called a dessert menu, okay? And then you're going to have a dessert. I mean, it's so normal. Everyone does it. Uh, I don't do it, but a lot of people do it. I see people at restaurants. I'm like, I don't know how they fit all that food in their gut. And so they eat the dessert and then they get home and they're just completely bloated. What happens is that it interferes with their sleep. The next day they feel grouchy. They have low blood sugars. They crave carbs the next day really bad. And the whole cycle starts over and over and over again. Um, so let's take a look at some of the things that can happen when you overeat. Number one, you're just stressing your digestive system in general. You have all these different processes that are occurring with the stomach, with the gallbladder, with the pancreas, with the small intestine, with the large bowel, uh, a lot of hormone things going on. And a lot of these processes are never completed. It's always incomplete because there's never a time where the, that pipe is empty. It's always full. There's always food coming in. Uh, so you're going to get gas, bloating, um, constipation, feel nauseous. And you're definitely going to have a spike of insulin, okay? And eventually that's going to lead to insulin resistance, which is prediabetes, because you're overworking the pancreas. Most of the population is right here, but they don't even know it. And there's all these symptoms that go with this right here. You, you've probably heard me talk about this a million times. Uh, it's going to affect your sleep cause sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is insulin resistance, by the way. Number four, it's going to overload the fat cell because you're consuming more calories than you can use up. So it has to go into storage. So you're forcing your body to fill up the fat cell as much as it can, and it spills over into the liver and around the organs. It's called visceral fat. Okay, so you eat the meal, you spike the insulin, the high level of insulin pushes the blood sugar down, and you're going to feel, the next day you're going to have moodiness and a lot more cravings, okay, especially to carbs. So realize your cravings today came from what you ate yesterday, usually. And this, and you start the whole cycle again, you're in this trap, and you just, you just can't get out of it because you're craving so much. You need to satisfy that sweet tooth. Uh, then you get all sorts of inflammatory conditions, okay, primarily because of the high levels of insulin. There's a certain enzyme called protein kinase R in your body that is involved in uh, stress signals, and it protects you against viruses. When you overeat, this enzyme is suppressed. Okay, it shuts down. And that starts slowing your metabolism. All right, so now realize that having insulin resistance, you're going to have a hard time pulling nutrients inside your cell. So you're not going to be satisfied after you eat, which is going to cause the need to continue to eat. There's no shutoff valve because the cells are resistant to insulin. So you have to get on a plan that corrects this. Okay. For those of you that are new, click the link down below. I will show you what to do exactly to uh, solve this to the point where you eat and you actually feel satisfied, which is be a new concept. And then we have intermittent fasting, which is essential because it allows the intestines to finally get a break and rest. What I would recommend for you is to make an agreement with yourself that if you, let's say you go off track or you 
go off the wagon and you overeat, you just do intermittent fasting longer, okay? At least that will actually repair some of the damage. Um, conscious eating. Even with people on keto, what happens is they get home and they start watching TV and they just like start snacking, okay? And on, on nuts and things like that and certain keto-friendly snacks and bars. And what happens is like they're, they're still overeating. Maybe it's not bad foods, but they're still overeating, so it's a problem. So if you have a problem with this right here, what you may wanna do is adjust your schedule. Let's say, for example, it's really easy for you to fast in the morning all the way till through the afternoon, all the way till five o'clock or six o'clock or even later. But let's say, for example, your most difficult time is at night, okay? You have just a hard time saying no to certain foods. Well, just work your schedule where you fast all morning, all afternoon, and your eating window is at night. So it's totally okay to eat. All right, so in summary, I'm gonna recommend you really just have to be more in the present and try not to slip into this kind of unconscious eating thing that so many people are involved with. So if you go to a restaurant and you're socializing, just be more aware of what you're putting in your body so you make sure you don't overdo it. All right, thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications. Daily notifications, that sounds weird. Well, I'll just remind you on a daily basis. How about that?